Hi there, I'm Cricket Toad, and today I'll be going over some puzzles and the mindset of a 2200 rated player. So, the tactic that I have today occurs with the, these set of moves. And when I play Queen to E2, my question is what is the best move for black? Give you a few seconds. You see, in this position, I've looked over the possible following moves. Bishop takes d2 check, then they go knight takes d2. Bishop takes e4, followed by queen takes e4, bishop takes check, king takes, pawn to c5, which is probably winning for black, but it's not the best line. The best move is queen takes d4. The reason for this is that this knight's attacked, this knight is attacked, and indirectly this bishop is attacked, because this knight has to move in a few moves. As you can see, off the queen side castles. Now we go bishop takes d2. If queen takes, we can simply go queen takes e4. If they try to come down and check us, we have checkmate, as we can see here. So therefore, knight takes d2, followed by the simple queen takes h4, and now what? Now now black is up a piece. In this position, black just went rook takes d3, and the question is, what is white's best move? We can see that this knight's attacked, this rook's attacked, this rook's attacked, this bishop's attacked, and this rook's not really doing anything. So, the best move is rook takes d3, rook takes d3, and knight takes f4. Now look at that, we're up a piece, the rook's still attacked, so now rook can come into the game soon with a possible winning threat. So I just play queen of b6. Black just play queen of b6. And you see this is what I'm thinking. The knight is attacked. This knight is attacked indirectly. And there's two defenders against two attackers. So this would be a win for black. But, as you can see, it's rook takes, rook takes, rook takes d8 again. There's nothing protecting this knight, so we take it. Now if they go to try to go queen check, our queen also protects it, so there's no chance for perpetual. So that's played rook to e1, and now you can see that they're attacking our rook, but our knight has ways to attack their queen, and there's the possibility of moving the queen up, taking the pawn, getting a pin against the king. So what's the best move? You might be thinking knight to g5, Puts pressure on the queen. Also puts pressure over here. But you're wrong. The best move is knight takes d4. The reason for this is let's go rook takes e1. Queen takes and then knight jack. So therefore they... Yep, so therefore we go knight takes d4, they take. And then we are at the exchange and a pawn. In this position, you can see that black has a possibility of getting some type of checkmate down here. This knight's on pre, but there are two rooks on our rook. So what's the best move here? Best move is just taking the knight, rook takes, knight takes. Because if they go rook takes, we swing down with a checkmating attack. So therefore we're just up a piece for no compensation for white whatsoever. This position, you can see the bishop's attacked, but so is the knight. Possibly losing knight to f3 going. So, a rook takes d6, takes, bishop takes, bishop. Wait for this is because um, two pieces is worth more than a rook. So, therefore, it's worth a sacrifice, it's, it's worth a trade. And now we have some major kingside attack coming where a rook gets in. All our pieces get in, and we checkmate them. In this position, black just went king to f5. So the first move should be obvious, it's rook to f7 check. But now what's the best move? Well, if you're greedy, and you take the bishop on f8, it's probably going to end in a draw of the king takes d5. Therefore, you go knight to f6 check first, so you can keep your pawn, and then you take the bishop. Just so your pawn gets to march through the board, as is protected by the knight. 
in this position, it seems like the logic can move is rook takes e4, but you didn't see what the last few moves were, if you want to watch this. Oh, well, that was a bit too far back. d4. Takes, right? And rook takes e4. The ancient evaluation says it's equal, but there's a move here, which makes it plus 3 for white. As you can see, the rook is indirectly attacking the queen, and the queen can only move on this file safely because of the pawns attacking it. Therefore, we go d takes e5. And they go knight takes e5. We take that queen. They check us on f3. We take it. And as you can see, black's sort of stuffed here. Because they take our rook. We take their knight. They move the knight. We keep our rook. And we're also up a queen. So, this is probably going to result in a win for white. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed In the Mind of 2200, and please, have yourselves a good day.